My name's Terry Irwin, and this is one of TCII's best business practice videos. And the topic is the do's and don'ts of exiting a business. You may be thinking of exiting your business, but is your business actually ready for you to move on? If you're an owner manager, you may unwittingly be the biggest barrier to the growth and success of your own business. It's very hard for a company to achieve a successful transition from owner dependency to a management team dependency, and few companies achieve it. The solution to this issue has three prongs. Firstly, start with the end in mind. Secondly, things you should do. And thirdly, things you shouldn't do. Let's talk about each of these. Firstly, start with the end in mind. Businesses that are wholly dependent on the activities and performance of their owners are unlikely to attract significant capital value on a sale. Most businesses are owner dependent at the outset and the skill lies in the owner reducing this dependency over time. At the point of sale, your business should be able to run without your involvement, unless that is, you're performing a line management role that can be filled through normal recruitment or search. Number two, the things you should do. Take charge of the strategy of the business and focus on the big issues. Spend a minimum of 50% of your time thinking about the future of your business. In other words, working on, not in the business. Hire the best people you can afford to employ. Let go or delegate routine management tasks. Give your managers tools and authorities to do the job. Motivate and encourage your management team. Develop the team's skills, knowledge and understanding. Make independence of management very clear to all of your stakeholders. And finally, don't forget to maintain a sensible work-life balance. Number three, the things you shouldn't do. Don't abrogate your responsibility for the management of the business. Don't interfere in the day-to-day -day activities of your managers. Don't undermine or criticise the activities of your managers in the eyes of your staff. Don't introduce unnecessary or burdensome management systems. Don't take credit for the successes of other team members. Don't allocate responsibility without authority. And finally, don't lose sight of your objectives and goals. And if you're interested in finding out more, call me, Terry Irwin, on 0207 099 2621 or download our free snapshot on this topic from our website at tcii.co.uk.